A new era in American space exploration starts today. This morning, NASA is set to launch its biggest rocket ever. It's so exciting. The goal of the Artemis mission is sending Americans back to the moon and then to Mars. NBC's Chris Pallone is live this morning in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And Chris, such an exciting morning for everyone who's gathered there. Yeah, Lord. Maureen, very exciting. That's right, including for me, my first launch here today. And so uh, we've been out here since early morning. And as you can see, people up and down the Space Coast are already trying to get a good view of the eastern sky in Kennedy Space Center, which is just about a mile or so behind me here. This is a, a glimpse into the future as Artemis takes flight. The Artemis SLS rocket is a monster, 322 feet tall and 15% more powerful than the rockets that last sent Americans to the moon 50 years ago. For NASA, putting its astronauts back on the moon's surface is goal one. We will have landers go to the moon, we'll have rovers on the moon, and eventually we'll have a base camp on the moon. Today's first step, a 42-day uncrewed test flight, sending the Orion crew capsule perched atop the rocket into orbit around the moon. NASA scientists will gather data on what the spacecraft and astronauts will experience on future flights. We are pushing the vehicle to its limits, um, really stressing it um, to get ready for crew. If successful, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years, then a moon landing in 2025 or 26. It promises to be a future of firsts. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. Captain Victor Glover among several NASA astronauts hoping to be chosen. I wanted to walk on and work on the surface of the moon. For members of the Artemis program today, the key emotion is pride. Pride in their country and pride in the nation's ability to accomplish big things. It's a country that is strong because people come together here and do amazing things. And it's a country that can reach for the stars, that can land on the moon and it can aspire to go to Mars. The next era of American space exploration now here with Artemis One. And Maureen, we've learned this morning that NASA is proceeding with fueling the rocket. There was a small hydrogen leak earlier, but they said that that was within limits. And so that is a go. The refueling continues. Also, we're watching the weather. 80% chance that the weather will be favorable at the start of the launch window, though it will deteriorate over the next couple of hours after that. Of course, no astronauts on today's flight, but three mannequins to test the effects of space on the human body and also a stuffed animal. Snoopy will be in the Orion capsule. You'll see him start to float when that capsule gets into orbit. All eyes will be on Snoopy. And Chris, the name of the mission is Artemis. Tell us more about the special meaning behind that. <laughs> yeah, I wondered about that too. So, of course, the mission that sent 13 astronauts to the moon in the 60s and 70s was called Apollo. Well, Apollo's twin sister is Artemis. Yeah, so exciting. Chris, thank you so much for the live update. We're going to be watching all morning.